Hello my little Willy. In today's tutorial you will learn how to knit the fern lace stitch pattern. It's a beautiful lace pattern but it's not complicated at all. I want to show you through this pattern that you can knit lace. I love the leaves patterns and this one is a four row repeat. Two of those rows are just plain pearl rows and the other two include steps, the same steps. We will just be repeating the same steps. Before we start, I just wanted to tell you that you will need sharp tip needles. Those are the best for lace knitting. And it's a great stitch for a wrap or a throw or a rectangular shawl, but it tends to bend on the sides. So if you add a nice edge, it could be in seed stage or garter stage or mouse stage, then you won't have any problem. And finally, don't forget to block your work once it's finished because it will change completely. You will be able to see the pattern exactly as it is the stitches will look crispy and flat. So grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of 9, for example, 9 times 2, 18, plus 4, 22, plus 2, edge or selvage stitches. So I'm going to cast on 24. And it's important that it's not too tight, this cast on row. First and every odd row wrong side of the work. So we're going to pull across. Just pull every stitch. When I get to the last one, I like to work the last stitch only on this first row through the back loop. So I'm going to pull the last one through the back loop. This way, we can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, right side of the work. We start with knit one, the edge stitch, and now we have to knit three. One, two, three. And here comes the repeat. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find these and all my patterns on my website, sowoolly.net. And there is a link for you below this video on the description box, just below the title of the video. So the repeat is yarn over, Net two, one, two, slip one as if to knit, knit the next, pass the slip stitch over, knit two together, knit two, one, two, yarn over, knit one. That's it. Let's do it again. Yarn over, knit two, one, two, slip one as if to knit, knit the next, pass the slipped stitch over, knit two together, knit two, one, two, yarn over, Net one. If you have more stitches, keep repeating, 
until there are two stitches left, ending with knit one and knit the last, the edge stitch. Third row, as per row one, we're going to purl across. That means purl every stitch, including the yarn over. fourth and last row. The steps are the same, you'll see. We start with knit one and now knit two. One, two. And here comes the repeat. Yarn over, knit two, one, two, slip one as if to knit, knit the next, pass the slip stitch over, knit two together, knit two, one, two, yarn over, knit one. You see? Same as per row two, but we start with knit two after the edge stitch instead of the edge stitch and knit three. Let's do it again. Yarn over, knit two, Slip one as if to knit, knit the next, pass the slip stitch over, knit two together, knit two, one, two, yarn over, knit one. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are three stitches left, ending with knit two, and knit the last, the edge stitch. So that's it. These four rows create the pattern. Of course, you need to work more rows to see the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. And when finished, we're going to bind off purl wise facing the wrong side of the work after row four. And that's everything for today, my little Willy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting.